Hello and welcome everyone to this video which is about converting speech into text using speech recognition API developed by Google and I am Divya Thakur. Have you ever noticed when you speak commands to your Google Assistant how it converts your voice into written format? For example, OK Google can you show me a list of movies? then it will convert it first into text and will reply accordingly. Have you ever wondered how in a video automatically captions are generated? If yes, then this video is for you. I'll show you how inner workings of this is in Jupyter Notebook. This is the Jupyter Notebook that I have made and also upload it to my github account the link to which you can find in the description below you can go over here start it fork it and then view this Jupyter notebook over here and try it out on your own so let me run this cell in which I am importing the speech underscore recognition package and giving it an alias of SR So let's see what speech recognition package is all about. So it's a library, the doc string says it's a library for performing speech recognition with support for several engines and APIs online as well as offline. So now this module of ours has a class which is this recognizer. So let's see what this class is about. The doc string says that recognizer is an instance which represents a collection of speech recognition functionalities. So we are creating the instance of this class which is recognizer and is present in this module SR or speech recognition and storing this instantiation in this variable recognizer. So we have many functionalities and I have these two audio files with me. So this is good morning one and then I have a song. So let me just play it for you. Good morning. I'm doing good. How about you? And we are back to our Jupyter notebook. So we have to store the audio file that I just showed you into an audio file object. So what is this audio file object? It's an instance that is given to a WAV file, an AIFF or a FLAC audio file. So this stores the data in bytes format. So fair enough. So I'm storing the audio file goodmorning.wav into this variable good underscore morning. So let me run this cell. And now let's verify whether the type of this variable is audio file or not. So fair enough. So this has the audio file object from our speech recognition module. But the translation of speech into text does not take place with this object of audio file. So audio data is the type of object that is taken up and converted into text. So for that we are using this record method on our instance recognizer. So what this method does is it records up to duration seconds of audio from a source typically an audio source which is our audio file and it starts that at offset if offset is not provided it will start that from the beginning for a specified duration and convert it into audio data. So this is the instance which it returns. So we are converting our good underscore morning as source and converting it into audio data using this method which is record. So let's again verify its type. Now it's audio data. Now we move on to converting this audio data into text using our recognizer instance method which is recognize underscore google so let's see what this method does so it performs speech recognition on audio data 
so it should be an audio data instance so you see here and it uses the google speech recognize recognition api so we have our audio data ready which is in this good underscore morning and we want the language the text language to be english so let's print the text over here it will take some time and our text is over here which is good morning i am doing good how about you so these are the exact words i spoke and there was some noise in the background but it has not taken that into account so now uh, let's convert an audio data in some other language and which has some larger amount of time into text so i have this song over with me so let me play this for you so this song has no wording till the 23rd second So you all saw that the wordings are starting from the 24th second and there is just plain music till the 23rd second. So let me grab this WAV file and store it in this variable song and I'm converting it into an audio file in bytes format and saving it. Next, because I recognize underscore Google needs an audio data as the object, as the source object. So we are converting this audio file to audio data using this method which is record. But now because I know that the wordings are starting from the 0th second and I know that this uh, method won't take the noise into account. So I am setting the offset to be 23. That is from the 24th second till the 60th second. Please show me what the speech was. Please show in text to me. So I have stored this in song variable and next I am converting it to text using recognize underscore Google and I'm passing in the song and this time I'm giving the language as Hindi. So if you want uh, your own language, so I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Let me print that text over here. It's going to take some time. So let's see how many languages does Google support. So google text to speech language support and it has around 120 languages that it supports so here's africans then uh, deush and english in various accent forms so philippines singapore even india is here and then germany then sorry german netherlands nepali marathi and portuguese french and all this so do one thing whoever is watching my video give an audio file in your own uh, language in your own accent and then see if it correctly translates it into text or not and comment below if it does so it's gonna be a fun video fun comments so let's see uh, how it converts in various la other languages. So for me it has converted into my Raklu Vaha Jaha Par Kahi Mera and it's almost 90% correct. So this is how speech recognition API by Google works. And if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And thank you for watching.